You're watching Reverse Radical Rides. Don't forget to rate and subscribe. Ooh. <laughs> she wants to. Smart if I, you know, clean that end first before doing what I'm doing. But we'll save that for the next time that this thing doesn't start. something a little different um, I sold the truck to a guy um, he was looking for an engine so I just sold him the whole truck technically it was Alex's truck I sold it to Alex for use on his farm but he didn't end up using it for anything so sucks I was the middleman for the deal and I told the guy I'd buy it back off of him once he pulled the motor but the mechanic he brought it to seems to think that the motors fucked which is, it's not. Um, so they've had it for over a week. So I'm gonna go make sure that they didn't just swap the engine and are trying to say, hey, you know, come get your truck because the engine's no good when in fact they switched it out already. So we're gonna go, we're gonna go check that out. If it is the original engine that was in that truck, I'm gonna go add fuel, some fresh fuel because I know it was low and I told the guy that they need to add fuel and I told him they needed to add transmission fluid if they wanted to move it and the mechanic there said it was fucked and then transmission same thing but I bet you nobody checked nothing so we're gonna go over there top everything up with fluids um, if it's not if it's not baffed I am NOT giving him back his exact money he's gonna have to learn the lesson uh, but at the same time, I don't like to screw people over, so I'm gonna go make a point. All right, let's go. I uh, <clears throat> put fuel in it. I put a new battery. It uh, it fires right up. It runs perfectly fine. There's no exhaust on it, but. It idles perfect. It has oil pressure. <laughs> I don't know what these fucking mechanics are talking about, but uh, we won't show their sign. They probably didn't throw a. They probably didn't throw a fucking uh, a battery in it. They still had the old battery. I don't know. Anyways, they threw the the water pump. I knew was letting go, but uh, they blew the. Uh, water pump pulley and the and the fat by and the fan into the rad so I don't know if the rads leaking or not but definitely not paying full price to get this thing back Ugh. 
I had to tuck it out of the way, but it's sitting in there. They said it was leaking oil like crazy, but I think it's, yeah, I could tell it's wet under the filter. So the filter could be, I mean, it's been there for a while. So I think it's just the filter or it's this power steering line, you know, but it runs good. So I don't know what the fuck. Uh, I hate deals like this, you know, go out of my way. It wasn't even my truck anymore. I sold it to Alex. So I go out of my way to tell this guy, and he messaged me on my post from selling something else, Dodge. He was looking for a motor. So, you know, hey, I, I'll, I'll reach out to this buddy, see if he wants to get rid of it. So I sold it to Alex, but it was still at the farm. Um, I dragged it out. I put it on my trailer. Alex drove it here. You know, I didn't get paid any money to come out here and bring it. I told him it ran good. I sent him a video of it running, but it had old gas in it. I said, put new gas in it. It'll be fine. Um, yeah. So. <laughs> what the fuck? I don't know, guys. I never tried to screw anybody over, but. You know. I knew it ran good. I knew it. So he's on his way. We'll see what happens. Seems like a reasonable guy. I don't know if he's gonna shit on these guys or not or whatever, but maybe we'll get a job to switch a motor. I don't want it. I'm going on vacation. All right, so that was fun. Turns out after I did some research that uh, it's not my fault. Probably not the guy's fault either. Um, so he has an 04, he reached out to me, asked if I had an engine. I said, yes, I had an engine, ran good, whatever, whatever. I didn't ask him what year his truck was in. Apparently 2002 and 2004 don't jive because of the tone rings on the uh, crank. So there's that. So I'm gonna buy the truck back. Oh well, um, not for the full price that Alex sold it for, but I do want the vinyl floor that's in it to put in my O3. So, it's vinyl floor worth whatever. I'll, I'll get whatever back for scrap and whatever and whatever. But anyways. Moral of the story is, don't be a nice guy. <laughs> don't, don't be a nice guy and make sure you, no, make sure your parts are right before you buy things off people. Okay, bye.